You would not believe how many times I've been interrupted trying to film this video. They cannot just let a girl film a YouTube video around here. So I'm finally restarting this video for the last time. And I'm going to try to do it as quickly as possible because I know somebody is going to interrupt me again. Or this phone is going to start ringing again. So, okay, nude lipsticks. That's what I'm going to talk about today. Today I am not wearing nude lipstick. Wow, that's new for a change. But I'm wearing the Revlon Lip Butter in Lollipop. And it looks like this. It's a really, really nice color for the summer. So, um, I line my lips with the NYX lip pencil in Purple Rain, which is more of like a pink purple. So first I'm going to start with some lip glosses, and I know you guys have heard me rave about the Rimmel London Moisture Renew Lip Gloss and Comfortable Nude. And I'm not going to rave about it anymore. If you want to know more about it, it is um, in a review, it's in a few of my get ready with me videos it's all over the place so I'm just gonna swatch it right here I don't know if you can even see that but it's right here it's a really nice pigmentation for this lip gloss considering that it's kind of um, on the greasier side but um, greasy in a good way it's not sticky so it might not ad adhere as well as another sticky lip gloss, but it, I think it does do pretty well in keeping your lips from getting those little pieces of um, dead lip, I guess. Um, but it's very, very moisturizing. So if you're somebody who's looking for something that will help your lipstick not to get so dry, I would definitely pick this up. Um, there is a variety of colors, so um, you don't have to get the nude one, but this is the nude lipstick video. so. And the next lip gloss is by Revlon, and this is one of the shorter lip glosses because I noticed there's a lot of the tall ones now. They're like long skinny tubes, but um, I guess this is just the regular size. And this is Peach Petal, number 150, and this is a very, very pigmented lip gloss, and I like that. I think you could probably pull it off on its own. And it's right there. So, um, love that. And my last favorite lip gloss is by L'Oreal, and it's from the Le Gloss line, and this shade is Baby Blossom. And this is more of a pinky nude, but it's definitely a gorgeous one. The only thing I do not like about this lip gloss, well, not about the lip gloss, more so about the packaging, I do not like lip glosses in these squeezy tubes because you can't really evenly disperse it on your lips so it, I don't know, it takes a bit of work. So, onto my lip butter slash creamy lip balms or whatever. The first one I have is by Baby Lips, um, well by Maybelline, Baby Lips by Maybelline and it's in Peach Kiss. And there it is, and I'm pretty sure you guys have seen this before. This is nothing new, um, but you can't really see it too well on my hand because it is a very, very sheer, um, sheer balm. It's more of a moisture component as opposed to, um, you know, for pigmentation. But um, it does show up if you swipe it, you know, enough on your lips. But this is great for if you're going to the beach or you're going somewhere and you just kind of want to add a little bit of color, this is probably what you should go for. Especially for those who don't wear lipsticks or go for more of a natural look, this is probably your best fit. And next is the Jordana Easy Shines. I love these things. They are cheap, they are super creamy, and they do not cake up on your lips. They do not dry out which I find that problem with the Revlon Lip Butters. I still have a favorite nude in the Lip Butters, but these are so much creamier, and I really like those a lot more. And um, this color is Fresh Melon. And you can get the Jordana Easy Shines 
If I'm not mistaken, you can get them at Walgreens and Kmart for sure. So here is a swatch right here. I'm not sure how well this is going to show up on camera, but trust me, it looks so nice on the lips. And um, even if you wear a full face of makeup, this can still give you great color payoff. So. And my next favorite nude is the Revlon Color Burst Lip Butter in Cream Brulee. And here's the packaging, and it looks like <laughs> it looks like this on the inside. And I've used it quite a bit, so I'll just try to swatch that. I have swatches all over the place. Okay, this is a very messy swatch, and it's a very thick one, so I'm going to try to make it look the way it does on my lips. Okay, this is Cream Relay. And it might look kind of pink on my hands, but it's actually really like a shimmery champagne nude. And my next lipstick, this is actually a lipstick, but it feels more like a lip balm kind of, or maybe like a thick lip balm. This is the NYX Lip Smacking Colors Lipstick in 590 Honey. And this is like probably nothing new to anyone around here if you watch quite a few beauty gurus because a lot of people hopped on this train. Oh my goodness, I just broke it. Oh my god. I'm so heartbroken right now. Oh my god. Okay, well, sad story. And this is what happened to my last one. It broke. Which it's still kind of in there, but if I push it, it'll just fall off. So I went to another Ulta along the way on the road trip to pick up another lipstick because I was so devastated that my lipstick broke in like a matter of one day. So, yeah. And now. My second lipstick is broken, so, oh, it just made me so annoyed. Okay, well, this is the swatch. I still love the color, even though the lipsticks break too easily. Is that lipstick on my teeth? Okay, so my next favorite nude is by Wet n Wild, and it's in the shade 902C. And these are just, like, the regular lipsticks, I guess. I don't know. They don't really have too many names for the lipsticks. I don't see anything that really sets this apart from the others. It's not the Mega Shield lipsticks. I think that's what it's called. Mega, Mega Shine. Mega Shine? I don't know. But here it is right here. And I'm running out of places to swatch. I guess I'll just go up right here. Which this one might look pink to you guys on camera, but it is actually a really beautiful peachy nude. And since this lipstick is a little bit more drying, I like to pair that with my Rimmel London Comfortable Nude. So, yeah. And my next lipstick is by NYC, and it's in the shade 420 Mousse. So this one is more on the pinker side of a nude lipstick. And you can see that right here. I don't know if you can even see that. My hand is killing me right now. Okay, so, and my last favorite nude, and I probably mentioned this a, quite a few times on my channel, and this is the L'Oreal Colorish 800 Ferris Nude. And this is also a pinky nude. I really, really love the color of this. And here it is right here. And this is great for every day because it is very moisturizing. And um, I've never really had problems with it drying out or making my lips kind of rip up and have those little bitty pieces of gunk. Um, I'll just put on a lip balm and that lipstick and I can totally skip a, um, a lip gloss for the day. So, yeah, so that is all of my nude lipsticks and lip glosses. The only lip liners that I use 
with these lipsticks are um, a NYX liner in nude beige and a L'Oreal Color Riche lip liner in Eau Naturel. And I can just show you guys the shade, um, a swatch rather. Okay, now it might be hard to tell where I just swatched this because there's swatches all over the place. So I'll try to point it out as good as I can. Okay, so the the redder looking one or the pinker one is Eau Naturel, and this one right here is um, Nude Beige. So. so these are all of my favorite nude lipsticks, lip liners, lip glosses, lip butters. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any favorite nudes that I didn't mention in this video, comment below and let me know what your favorites are. Or leave a video response and let me know what your favorite nudes are. Quick note, if you have a Rite Aid near you, you definitely need to get your butt over there. They have 40% off all of the Revlon cosmetics and 40% off of the NYC cos cosmetics. <laughs> So um, all you need to do is have a Rite Aid wellness card, which you can sign up for one at the register, but I would do it before you do any transactions. So as soon as you get there, go to the register, get you a wellness card, and I'm pretty sure you can get everything done at the register. They should have the cards for you. So um, you can get 40% off of Revlon Colorstay Whip Foundation, the new foundation. So. It's usually $13.99 in my right aid it's $13.99 so you would be getting it for like eight bucks which is not bad at all and there's actually quite a few Revlon coupons floating around now so if you can get your hands on one of those you can probably get it for like six bucks so um yeah that is all I have for you guys I cannot say that I will see you guys Saturday I might see you guys before then because at this rate, I've been posting videos a lot more than I thought I would. Which is a good thing, because once school starts again, um, it's probably going to be a lot less. So, hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to comment below. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed, because I love subscribers. And, um, and I hope you've been having a really great week. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye. Okay, so I just came from Rite Aid 20 minutes ago, and I picked up another nude. Okay, you know, sue me, but I am a sucker for nudes. So, um, I got the Revlon Matte Lipstick in Nude Attitude. So, I'm going to try it on right now. It looks like this. Pretty, right? So... It is totally matte. This is definitely one you have to have a lip gloss with. Let's see. Uh, I can't grab it. Nice. Very soft. If you guys want to see a swatch too, I'll just do that as well. Um, of course, my hand is clean because it's a new day, right? So this is Revlon Nude Attitude. And I just picked this up from Rite Aid along with um, a Revlon Color Stay Powder in Medium. And of course, I got them on sale with my Rite Aid Wellness card. And I'm just going to show you guys my receipt if you don't believe me. So, um, for the powder, the powder was $9.99 for the original price. And I got it for $5.99. And you can see that right here, the original price. I hope you guys can see that. This is $9.99. And I got it for $5.99. And then the lipstick was supposed to be $7.99, but I got it for $4.79. And I had a manufacturer's coupon 
from my Sunday newspaper for two dollars off of the face makeup. So I got two dollars off of the face makeup, and I actually got it for three ninety nine. So I spent nine seventy. <laughs> excuse me. I spent nine seventy, and if I wouldn't have had any like a coupon or a sale, I would have paid like twenty bucks. So if you do not believe me. Now you should. I showed you my receipt. I'll show you again. I paid nine seventy, and I saved. Let's see. It's right here. I'm trying to fold down my little credit card number thing. <laughs> so it says total wellness savings seven twenty, and then coupon savings two dollars. So I saved nine dollars and twenty cents. And I spent nine dollars and seventy cents. So I basically saved like half off. So you need to get your button right if you know it's good for you. <laughs> so um yeah. I really, really like this new this is a really pretty color. I'm digging it. My eyebrows look so jacked up right now. Please don't judge because I was running errands like this is my running errands look. <laughs> I want to show my running errands outfit so um, I'm just going to go. And if you see any mess in the background, please do not comment on it because it is a very, very rough week and I am trying to write speeches and do final projects and all kinds of stuff before the summer school semester ends. So yeah, I'm going to go do my work now. Bye.